Last weekend, while the men's soccer team was opening their season in South Bend with the Mike Berticelli Memorial Tournament, another tournament was getting underway a little closer to home. Parents scattered across the sideline at Cars Farm Park in Bloomington to watch the first ever Jerry Yeagley Soccer Classic, a tournament put on by the Cutter Soccer Club. The Jerry Yeagley Soccer Classic brought in a whopping 75 teams from all over the state of Indiana. Most of them are probably within uh, 60, 70 mile radius, Terre Haute, Indianapolis, uh, Columbus, uh, south of, of Indianapolis, Center Grove area, uh, a few teams from the s southern part of the state, and uh, we have one team from, uh, I believe it is, northeast Indiana. With age groups ranging from 9 to 15, came to kick off the club season and raise money for a number of good causes within the Cutters organization. The money that gets raised in this event will um, help out kids in our club that are either on a scholarship or potentially participate in one of our outreach programs. So we work with a lot of local organizations like the Boys and Girls Club, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, um, and a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the local schools. Um, so we provide free programming to those kids. The man whose name is attached to the tournament, Jerry Yeagley, is Indiana's former head men's soccer coach as well as current IU coach Todd Yeagley's father. Yeagley coached at Indiana for 31 years, retiring in 2003 after amassing six NCAA titles and earning a spot in the IU Athletics Hall of Fame in 2009. What a great honor just to have a classic in my name. So uh, Mike Sanofsky uh, coordinated things. We did some video. We did some marketing. They had to get a bunch of teams, and they didn't have a lot of time to do it. And I was a little skeptical if they could pull it off in that short period of time. But my grandson played in it this weekend, a number of my friends, uh, their grandkids or kids, and it was a great success. The Cutters could not underestimate the importance of having the legend support. I think it was really important. You know, Jerry Yeagley is a big part of this community. Uh, obviously coached at IU for a long time, a national champion. And I think having his name on it brought teams here, uh, and the recognition alone I think is the reason why people came. With a successful weekend of soccer in the books, it's safe to say the first Jerry Yeagley Soccer Classic won't be the last. For BTN Student U, I'm David Sugarman.